Hey mates, welcome back to the Curse of Monkey Island. So what we do now is we're gonna end the game again for a second time by dying again. I'd like a drink, please, you big douche. Sure, sure. So now we're apparently a good soup in his eyes. We'll be hopefully buried in the gra in the, the good soup family crypt, and that's where we wanna be. So let's drink this shit and die. Actually, we've died like three times, but this. <laughs> The first time was the only time it said, game over. Die please, thank you. <laughs> Yay, game over again. Thanks very much for watching this Let's Play. Thank you. I'll see you all in Monkey Island 4. Oh dear, he's had a sudden and completely unexpected relapse of death. And just as we were getting reacquainted. <laughs> Typical. As his king, kinsman is my duty to give him a proper burial. It's my solemn, solemn vow, my dear vegetable good soup. Oh yeah, I called myself vegetable, didn't I? <laughs> Shall be buried in the good soup family crypt. All right. <laughs> Whoa. That's a bit creepy. And it just so happened to leave all of my belongings on me. So they, they didn't even undress me and put me in a suit like you should do. It's very, uh, not very thingy for flipping good soups, is it? You think with a, a name like good, like such a prestigious name like good soup, they'd at least bury me in a flipping suit. Oh well. Anyway. It's locked. There's no way out. It goes out to the cemetery. Okay, so I don't know if you guys remember, but uh, I think, I think anyway, in a previous episode, it talked about a female good soup who died uh, because of the love or whatever. She was deeply in love and she died. And is a, a spirit. Well, yikes! It was true, bitches! Ghost bride. Shall we talk to her? I guess? Ahem. Oh god, look at that freaky face! Oh, hello there! Uh, Hey, nice ring! <laughs> Son of a bitch! Was that something I said? I hate this ring! It's been passed down from my mother to daughter in the Gutsu family for generations! It was to be my wedding ring, until that evil pirate stole the diamond and left me. Left me here to die of a broken heart. The Chuck? Or am I wrong? I don't know. Maybe it was her husband. Uh, where's the diamond for your ring? It's gone. He took it. Who took it? My love. Oh, right. My honey cakes, my little schnubbums, my the Chuck. What? The Chuck is your schnubbums. He pried the diamond from his own setting from his setting during the rehearsal dinner. Oh, son of a bitch, what a fool I was! He told me he was taking it out to get some fresh hair. What? <laughs> you don't take a diamond out to get fresh air. A diamond can't breathe, boy. Since you're not using it, can I have your engagement band? This ring will remain on my finger until I have a wedding band to replace it. Oh. Okay. Where did LeChuck take the diamond? I really want to know. The card! The fiend! He sold it to the smugglers of Skull Island! It's just so humiliating, I could just die! Okay. Um. Okay, well, let's get a reminder who, of, of who you are. Who are you and what are you doing here? I am Mini Good Soup, last in a long line of eligible Good Soup Debun Tatties! I said that wrong. <laughs> I was buried here exactly one week after my wedding day. That sucks. A wedding that never came. <laughs> what happened? I was the Belle of Blood Island. <laughs> how many people? Oh, sorry. How many people can claim that? Oh, how the lads adored me! I was coded, coded by the richest, most handsome men in the Caribbean. But all my suitors brought me to tears. I wanted someone dangerous. I wanted a pirate. By the way, what do you do for a living? <laughs> oh, this is hurting my throat, actually. Flooring inspector. <laughs> oh, the one day a real pirate sailed a ship into the bay. I fell for him instantly and we became engaged. But he left me standing at the altar and I died of a broken heart. That instantly? Oh, okay. Wow. Well, I guess it was a week after. That bites. I know. <laughs> 
Uh, were there any other suitors you found attractive? Like, I don't know. Me? You mean besides LeChuck? Sorry, Bandicam was in the way again. But there was one I could have fallen for. Young Charles de Goulash. He had such a radiant smile. What happened to him? You know, it's funny. I don't know. He checked into the hotel one night and I never saw him again. That's the skeleton in the hotel room, guys. What happened to that young man you liked so much? The last time I saw Charles, he had checked into the hotel. Yes, I just heard that. Why did I ask again? I don't even know. Go into the light! <laughs> if only it were that easy! I'm afraid I can never leave the script until I marry. Oh, so you're like... Are you attached? <laughs> uh, engaged, actually. <laughs> what a shame. You sure have pretty eyes. Oh, thank you. I grew them myself. Ooh. <clears throat> okay. So now we just need to know how to get out of here. How do I how do I get out of this script? There's no way out of the script for either of us. <sighs> Itchy. I must haunt this lonely tomb until I married a young ma a man I truly love. And you can't leave because the door's locked. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well this is just uh shade too creepy for me. I'm leaving. Yes, I agree. I mean look at that face. Ugh. Ugh. Look at the face of... Alright. Memorial wreath. Look at it from afar. Tastefully dark. Ugh. Let's go over here then. Oh, a crowbar. What can I use that for? Oh, well, it's mine now. Can I look inside the, the script coffin lid? Giggle. Die! Ah! Oh. I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> yeah, Moray! I think I broke my skull. I'm all skull. It's your own fault. <laughs> Jump scare though. Stop scaring me like that. So it did scare you? Really? It startled me more like it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but startled in a terrified kind of way. Yeah, yeah, you really are very, very scary. Yeah, <laughs> hey, we'll be patronizing them. Don't talk down to me. I really don't have any choice. <laughs> I love the banter between these two. I saw you get out of that crypt. Does that mean you're dead? No, I was only faking. Darn. I thought together we could walk among the living and spawn a new wave of terror throughout the Caribbean. So, what you're saying is that you only love me for my legs? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> I love this guy. Alright, we can actually pick him up. Hey! Oh, uh, Moray. I love that guy. It's been a while since we've seen him as well. Whoa! Mort! This is where we saw him earlier. Okay, so poster. It's a poster for some really trashy monster book. Trust me, it'll never sell. <laughs> parrot. It's either a dead parrot or a very strange bat. I can't reach. Hey, mister! Help! What? Who's there? Who said that? Who's scaring poor old Mort the Grave Digger? There's been a ter horrifying mistake. I've been buried alive in the Good Soup family crypt. Eh, alright. This joke has gone far enough. You kids should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> That's no joke. I'm really trapped in here. Eh, whatever. Crazy kids with your long hair and your Baroque music. Okay, I can't pronounce it. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. <laughs> Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Anyway, uh, you must love horror stories to own all these collectibles. This makes general conversation through the wall. Reading fantastic stories about the dead helps me keep my mind off of my work. <laughs> Keeps your mind off your work, but you're actually talking to a dead guy. Yeah, that makes sense. Why are you wasting your money on all this bad fiction? Oh, sorry, that was me. Why are you wasting money on this bad fiction? At least my bad fiction doesn't require over a thousand dollars in hardware. Shit! <laughs> I see your point. 
Let me out of the script! Woo. I'm not falling for your tricks this time. Just leave me alone and let me read my horror novels. Okay. This is not a trick. I'm really trapped in the script. I drank a special potion and put me into a coma. <laughs> That's believable. Thinking I was dead, they buried me in the script. Yeah, right. They did that in the book, Never Trade Lunches with a Corpse. <laughs> what? If your kids ever came up with an original idea, I might believe you. Alright, alright. Just look at me through this crack. That's what she said. Anyway. Oh, sure! I turned my back to the door on you thieving little hoodlums. There's no door in that room, bro. Well, sneak up from behind and tie me up. I read all your sinister ways in my horror novels. <laughs> okay. You really get the idea, dude. So nothing doing. Curses, you've seen through my web of deceit. Ugh. I'm no ordinary man trapped in a crypt. Well, why are you then? I seek the golden rods of Cthulhu to bring peace to the Shire. <laughs> what? Is that a Lord of the Rings reference? Do you bear the mark of and chosen one foretold by the scrolls of the Third Shadow? I was hoping you wouldn't ask. <laughs> What I meant to say was... Oh! Oh! After all this time, I've had that flipping Murray's arm, and I've only just figured out what I need it for. There's a lantern right here that I need to grab with it. Yeah! I'm smart. I'm selling these fan leather jackets. <laughs> oh, that's a ref For those who don't know, that's a reference for uh, that's been throughout the Monkey Island games throughout since, uh, since the first one. Uh, okay. I'm a deranged and ang angry and deranged ghost haunting this crypt. Woo! Then let me see you appear before me. Excuse me? <laughs> if you're a real spirit, you could just materialize in a ghostly form. It's all in the books. Huh? Yeah, no, no, well, let's see it. Isn't the ominous sound of my disembodied voice proof enough? I guess not. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna do this very quickly. Uh, bah ha ha ha! Fear me, I am an evil ghost. Then go ahead and show your ghastly visage. Alright, alright, I get the idea. I can't, I'm shy. <laughs> You're no ghost! Alright, well, uh, I'm gonna sulk in the darkness now. Have a good time! Alright. Hi, have a wonderful time! Alright, I think what I need to do is use. Well, I know I need to do this. Yeah! Whoa, I've turned it dark in the room. Hey, what happened to the light? Hey, who turned out the lights? Hey, who turned out the lights? Hey, who turned out the lights? Doctor Who reference anyone? No? Yes? Maybe? <laughs> I can't shed any light on that. Alright, let's do this. Whoa, Murray, do your stuff. I remember this. I was stuck on this when I was a kid for ages. Okay. Boo! <laughs> Whoa, Guybrush has got skills. Ah! Mortal release fool, me. release me from this wretched tomb. I must be set free or I will haunt you forever. I'm adding a filter over my voice here, by the way. I will hide your keys beneath the cushions of your unholstered furniture, and never more will you be able to find socks that match. <laughs> All right, hang on, I'm coming. That hurt my voice, but that was worth it. Great work, Murray. I, I was terrifying, wasn't I? Aw, <laughs> oh, poor Murray. My demonic powers have made me omnipotent. Bahahaha! Uh-oh, looks like the lantern ran out of oil. Oh well. I know that feeling from amnesia. There, it's open. Now shuffle off and give me peace. <laughs> cool. It's useless now that it's out of oil. Okay, so we've basically done all we need to do here, for now, at least. Can we give Mori to Minnie? That's just gross. <laughs> well, why can't we set them up? What? Nothing. <laughs> Alright, I remember what I'm supposed to do here. <clears throat> uh, talk to Black? No, I think I'll examine it. I can't talk to it. I'll just have a quick look at this, and then I'll end the video. <clears throat> it's a memorial plaque for Mini Stroni, <laughs> Mini Stroni Good Soup. Alright, so we're going back to the uh, 
Hotel. Well, Murray, are you ready to continue our heady adventure? Ing? Murray? Where'd he go? Wait, he's just ahead. How is he get? How did he get away? <clears throat> okay. I did double click, but okay. Okay, we're gonna end the video here, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you're enjoying this so far. Don't forget to leave your feedback in the comments section below. Le tell me what you think, um, and maybe subscribe if you feel like it. It would help me so much. I appreciate you watching. I can't say that enough. I really do. Every view, every viewer who decides to spend some time of their day to watch my videos it really makes me happy so thank you so much and i'll see you all in the next video of monkey island we're gonna we're, we're, like i said in the last one we're close to the end of the game now so won't be much longer bye for now guys love you Doing in the deep oh i see you ah! oh, get in i i burped in excitement oh, Yay! Over. i can't see them <laughs> yeah this is is that is that statue gone the statue better not be gone no, he's still there. Good. Oh crap, what the hell? No!